Sierra, aka Heavenly Era, and I'm back with another video. Today, as you can see from the topic, we're going to discuss the time that I went on my social media fast. I went on my social media fast for about a week and a half, and it was one of the best experiences that I've ever faced. No social media whatsoever, wasn't posting. I even hid my apps away from me. I turned my notifications off, everything. So what encouraged me to go on the social media fast was because I felt like I started being someone who I wasn't. I started being someone who I thought that my followers and everybody else wanted me to be. It came a point in time when I was just like, man, like we are really addicted to social media. We are really addicted to just looking at what everybody else is doing. Like, wow, it's really, it's really consuming me. I would just feel like I didn't have time to actually put into my personal business, my personal brand, anything. I was rarely getting anything done. Of course, when you're scrolling, you're looking on social media and you see people's lives and they're doing things that you wanna do. They're so much further than you. They implement an idea better than you, the same idea that you might have had or the same concept that you had. So that discourages you to just stop and just say, forget it. I didn't want to feel like I couldn't make things happen or I couldn't achieve certain things because someone else was doing it already or somebody else's idea was better, what I felt was better than mine. Like why, like what am I doing? Like I didn't want to give up because of what I've seen other people doing. So the social media fast allowed me to be out of sight, out of mind. Just focusing on Tierra, focusing on me and focusing on what I need to get done, how I want it done, everything. I have a very creative mind and I love when certain things come together. That's why you all see me doing like different visuals and different things like that. I love to create. So I feel like I have a lot of good things up here. Why am I not putting them to use? I actually had to unfollow certain people who I felt made me feel less than made me feel like I was a little envious of their lives, what they have, how fast it happened for them, different things like that. I didn't want to feel like that no more. Over it, like, it taught me a lot about myself and about a life in general. I was so much more productive. I was meeting all types of goals, things that I didn't even think I could get done in a day. I'm just like, oh, oh, I felt really good. So it made me feel more and more excited and positive about me not being on social media the first few days you're just like dang i wonder what's going on so if i felt like i wanted to click on something i would immediately just grab my notebook and start writing what do i need to get done like no so if you're just like oh my god i can't do it for some people a day is really hard some hours may be hard for some people i feel so great to know that i could do it social media is not my life that makes me feel great but at the same time, you feel like it kind of hurts you, especially when you're trying to build a brand, you're trying to build something, and social media is where you need to be posting, where you need to be promoting and doing different things like that. When you fall off for like a week or two or even some days, people will be like, um, whatever, and move on. Bloop. I mean, it, it has its pros and cons when it comes to your mindset, but your mind is so powerful, you just have to overpower those negative thoughts and just trust the process. Also, my social media fast was a part of my spiritual journey. Getting to know who I was as a person, trying to make myself closer with God and closer with just trying to figure out why I'm here, what my purpose is. I was actually able to understand my thoughts, understand my process, understand what I need to do. I was hearing from God better. And I told myself, Tiara, if you do not have a game plan, if you do not find what you need to find, in I don't know how many days, you are not getting on social media until that happens. And I meant that. I feel so much better about everything now. It's crazy. I wouldn't mind doing the game. It became a habit. Once you start doing something, once you make everything a daily routine, it becomes a habit. Even now that I'm on social media, it's easy for me to just forget about scrolling, forget about what other people are doing. And I'm focusing on what I'm doing. I'm not about to be sitting there just focusing on everybody else's life when I forget about my life and forget about my goals and what I have to do and what I have to accomplish. We all can get to that point. We just have to focus and we have to get it done, period. People have been asking me, what am I supposed to do? You have to find a hobby, find something that you enjoy doing and focus on that. 
if you have a brand if you're trying to start a business focus on that go hang out with some friends go hang out with some family members people you haven't hung out with in a while go spend some time with them be in some positive vibes go take yourself out on a date or two or three take hot bubble baths meditate your mind will be so much clearer you'll be able to focus more you'll just you'll feel so much better and with me doing this whole social media fast, I'm going to start a self-love series. Just basically tips that I've done when I was on my social media fast or things that I'm continuing to do on my, my journey to finding myself. How to, you know, love yourself and things that you can do to ensure that you're showing yourself some love, some attention, and you know, ways to just make you feel better overall as a person. I hope this motivates somebody to do the same. It felt so good. I feel so much better about social media. I feel so much better about my plan and my route that I'm supposed to be taking. I feel like I have a lot of different things that God would like for me to do. So I'm trying to figure all of that out. But I have a clearer mind so that I can focus on it and move in the right direction. I feel great. I feel happy. And I encourage you all to do the same. It'll definitely be worth it. Trust me. Just let me know. That will be great if I inspired you to do so. And if you have any more questions, you can leave them at the bottom and I'll be sure to answer them or you can email me or you can Instagram me or you can tweet me because now I'm on social media. I still have my notifications on so if I respond a little late that's why. Yeah just hit me up and we can chit chat.